Welcome back to KSL Outdoors. Well, whether you're a sheep hunter or just a sheep enthusiast who loves to view wild sheep, it's an exciting day here in Utah. Hey, uh, we're out here in uh, the little town of Tabiona at Skyrider Ranch. What's happening here is they're making a nursery herd for desert bighorn sheep. Now, we already have a nursery herd for Rocky Mountain bighorn sheep on Antelope Island. This is for deserts, and they're on their way from Nevada. We're in the Valley of Fire State Park, um, and these are the Muddy Mountains behind us. And we are translocating uh, desert bighorn sheep from this area, and we're taking them to Utah. We've experienced some pretty extreme drought the last two years, and concerns about the conditions of the range and the, the forage quality um, have led us to sort of look into ways to reduce that population. Each animal is getting a collar and an ear tag, so an uh, individual identifying number. Uh, we're taking blood samples, we're taking uh, nasal and tonsil swabs for pathogen testing. In two days, 31 desert bighorn sheep were captured in the Muddy Mountains, loaded into a Utah DWR trailer, then driven to their new home at Skyrider Ranch in Tabione, Utah. So they'll be going back into this enclosure. There's an eight foot fence. It encompasses 1,800 acres. Young Living Essential Oils, a Utah company, owns Skyrider Ranch and partnered with the DWR to provide the land for the sheep. Young Living is a very conservation minded company. And we had the high fence elk operation. We were getting away from it, we we're stepping away from it. And when the state caught wind that we were getting out of the elk program, they propositioned us with the opportunity to have the nursery herd here at the ranch because we had the facilities in place. And uh, we took it to the company, like this sounds like an amazing thing to be a part of. And it was a very easy, very easy decision to make. The thing with bighorn sheep, you know, they often are faced with some disease challenges. When they, when they come in contact with domestic sheep, they're just not adapted to some of the diseases that are commonly you know, present in, in domestic sheep populations. And when the bighorn come in contact with those, It'll often cause you know, mass die-offs or like all their lambs, their, their reproductive, reproduction just drops off. So this is pretty exciting, this is pretty cool. Once the final test for these sheep came back clean, the doors were opened, and Utah's new nursery herd for desert bighorn sheep got a chance to check out their new surroundings. It's a monumental day for sheep in the state of Utah, whether you're a hunter or non-hunter, uh, to be able to have a nursery herd for desert bighorn sheep is game changing. It's a little bit of a novel idea, but some other states have done it, and uh, and we've had we've had good luck and moved a lot of sheep off Antelope Island over the years, and are excited to partner with Young Living, and Sportsman for Fish and Wildlife, Utah Foundation for North American Wild Sheep, and uh, you know we're just it's a cool effort. It's a it's a kind of a creative different partnership, working with private entities, but the the folks at Young Living were really excited about being involved in bighorn sheep conservation and uh, have an awesome piece of property that we think is going to do really well and help us grow some sheep. How cool is that? Long time coming. Congrats to everybody involved. That was awesome. The plan is to translocate a total of 100 sheep from Nevada. We'll keep you updated on the nursery and hopefully in a few years the DWR will be relocating some of these sheep and augmenting existing populations around the state.